Hello students, uh, welcome back on the Enix uh, Deep Cut tutorials. Today we will talk about uh, deep analysis of the filters existing in the extrusion extrusion function. So the filters that will be uh, automatically the automa will be the automated while uh, you will select the extrude function. So uh, let's open the new file and the model press ok ok uh, let's uh, select the sketch first of all let's uh, select uh, draw the sketch ok let's select uh, this datum plane ok so let's start with the simple rectangle and uh, to see the how to extrude the simple rectangle with the filters so uh, let the put the uh, dimension is the 100 and the vertical dimension is the let's make it 50 and uh, let's make the this one and uh, this will make it symmetry so uh, let's finish sketch and uh, let's uh, try to extrude it with uh, some filters and uh, activate the extrude function from the ribbon and you see as you the activated uh, your the extrude function here the new uh, filters is activated with the several options single curve connected curve tangent curve feature face sheet region curves in groups and uh, Infer curve. So we will see the all uh, of the most of the these filters. How to uh, obtain the extrude function using the this uh, uh, these uh, filters. Let's start with a single curve. Select a single curve and start to select uh, your the sketch curves. For example, this one. You see, it is the extruding, but it is extruding in the scene wall. It is the, in the sheet forum because it is a single curve and select uh, this one and you see it is the continuing and uh, this one select this one and you see and if I select this one it will be closed system and uh, it will uh, will be solid element so you see this is the how is uh, single curve filter is used in order to obtain extrude function so press ok and you see that extrusion is obtained for the solid element and uh, we can uh, delete it and uh, let's uh, add some elements to the this circle uh, to the, this save tank for example the circle with the diameter of the 20 and uh, let's make it uh, some additional element here at the line and uh, make it the horizontal and uh, add the line here again and uh, make it vertical and using trim function just uh, trim this one and uh, let's make it a tangent constraint between this line and this line and this is all the tangent keep it finish case so now I would like to extrude uh, this one here you see there is two regions this one and this one and uh, using the single core we can separately extrude these two regions and the uh, other so, so let's extrude it and here it is activated let's select a single curve and uh, here uh, you have to activate this one for example the stop at the intersection the activated one and uh, if I select this one it will stop here in the intersection due to the, this is activated for example if it is not activated for example the extruded if it's not activated it will be just extrude the whole the line because it is this one stop at the intersection function it's not activated so uh, let's uh, extrude it with uh, this point is activated 
and uh, let's select this one and uh, select this one you see yeah, see this one this one and this one is so, solid element is obtained is the height of 25 millimeters and apply it and uh, you can continue to end with the, this one so for example this is activated select the, this one we can uh, for example the uh, change the height here for example we can make the 10 millimeter and select this one this one and uh, this one and we can go further selecting these edges so in this case you see the another solid element is obtained with this uh, shape the, you can change the height as you want also you can change the height in the reverse direction and so on this is the how the single core filter is the works in addition so uh, you can use the this function stop at the intersection that's okay so this is the how we can obtain the complex shapes uh, the sim in the in the simultaneous way so uh, let's uh, delete this one and uh, also the delete this one and uh, let's make it uh, one more element we can also make some uh, subtraction as well so uh, we can uh, add the rectangle here and uh, finish the sketch now I would like to extrude this element and this element and I want to the make subtraction of the this uh, small so uh, small rectangle so extrude it with the using just a single curve so uh, act this is the activated let's activate it this one again select uh, all of this just uh, apply it again uh, select uh, this one this one this one make it uh, for example higher and uh, apply again and now I would like to uh, make a subtraction of this one uh, from the bottom you can see this one this one this one and uh, this one so we can make whole that through all subtraction in the boolean we will uh, select just a subtract from the this surface and press ok now you see how is obtained the, the this kind of complex element in the simultaneous way so this is the how about the deep analysis of the single curve and uh, now uh, let's uh, delete all of them and uh, go with the further other elements so extrude and the next is the connected curve in the connected curve that's the if you select the connected curve if you select the for example the this line uh, sorry just the uh, let's the uh, uh, this is activated so in this case you see uh, it will the select the connected curve the lines until the intersection with the others for example in here for example the connected curve if I select this one it will be select from this point to this point for example if I select uh, this sort of rectangle it will call it will uh, extrude all of the this you see because all this is the connected and there is no intersection so uh, apply and if I select uh, for example this one it will select uh, from the here to here this line you see it is select this one and if I select this one it will be extruded if I select this one it will select from the here to here to all of this line you see it is still sheet element because the there is the thumb uh, open element and if I select this one it will be become the solid element so select line and now here here now it's solid element so you can uh, here make this direction press apply so this is the how connected curve is works next is the tangent so uh, let's the 
uh, delete this ones so extrude function so next is to uh, if you actually if you use the tangent curve so it will uh, select uh, the tangent curves simultaneously for example if I select uh, this one if only only select uh, this one because there is no tangent curve for this one select this one you, you see and uh, this is since it is activated it will select until here if uh, I disactivate this one it select all the line here to make the ah here is a connected sorry uh, not a tangent so mm, tangent so it will select okay just a moment okay make it tangent and uh, disactivate this one and it will select this line and if I select uh, this line it select will all this line because here we have the fillet it is the tangent to the this line so you see it selected this one but then if I select this one it will be select this one and so you see it is how the tangency is obtained and uh, you can use also the this function or activate or disactivate here also the uh, with the fillets also you can use the, this one okay next one is the let's see uh, this is the we will study the in the further lessons and uh, this one also let's see the region boundary in the region boundary if you select the region boundary you see here it will uh, extrude start to extrude the region by region so i select this one this one you see and uh, you can this one is different height uh, uh, let's uh, do one more again okay uh, region press apply this one uh, press apply and uh, this one press apply you see uh, you will extrude region by region with the different height and uh, you can also make the different uh, different uh, di uh, different direction groups in uh, curves in groups is the same as a connected curve you will select if you select it will be uh, select it select all the groups in uh, intersection let's uh, see it extrude it curves in group so if you select uh, uh, so uh, we will see so again uh, I mean uh, in, in infer group infer curves is also the same as the uh, as the same as uh, this the connected curve so it is the commonly used so if you select this one it will just uh, extrude all of the elements and here the the, the subtractions also the press apply you see is how it obtained with the infer curve so in the general most cases that you will use the this connected curve single course then that uh, with the also with the regions and the infer, gr infer groups and the tangent course uh, in order to make the uh, extrusion operation so this is the uh, how is the obtained uh, extrusion function I think it's everything's clear. See you on the next lessons.